Uh, welcome guys in our SQL Server tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to explore more about on rollup option in SQL Server. So rollup uh, is an extension of the group by clause. By using rollup, you can include an extra row that uh, represents the subtotal which are commonly referred to as a super aggregate row along with the grand total row. So what uh, are the benefits you can take from the rollup uh, options? First of all, by using the rollup options, you can use a single query to generate multiple grouping sets like uh, subtotal of every category, subtotal of uh, a salesperson and uh, so on. Then rollup generates a result set that shows aggregates for a hierarchy of values in the selected column. By using rollup you can find total for corresponding to one or more column also. So we are going to show three examples. First is SQL rollup with single column, SQL rollup with multiple columns, SQL rollup with partial rollup. So here you can see I have connected my SQL server to Teradata and here is the table called TB yearly sales performance. So in this table I am going to show you first of all rollup with single column and here you can see I have selected category name and total sales. If I am going to execute this query you can see the output also. Okay, now here, now I want to, I am going to use rollup feature. So rollup feature is going to be used with the group by close because it is an extra extension of uh, group by close. That's why. So I am going to sum total sales then group by by category name ok now if I am going to execute this uh, query then you can see this is the total this is the category wise uh, total. If I am going to use uh, rollup with rollup, then what will happen? So, this is a single column rollup. Now, you can see this is the single uh, single column roll up and you can see the total of categories sales uh, i'm going to say that equal to original category name equal to grand total sorry if it is null then it would be the grand total and if i am going to execute this query then you can see the result also here now you can see grand total is the total of all categories sales so now i am going to add one more column that is total sales uh, salesperson that means uh, roll up with multiple columns columns so I am going to pass this value here ok and going to execute this query 
for the demo purpose i have created a new query already a query with uh, showing that roll up with multiple columns so here first of all what i need to do i am going to just copy this control c and paste it in query number 2 okay control v so guys uh, you can see here that what i did here i have add another column that is sales person and in group by i have used to group by category name sales person or with roll up so i am going to execute this query now so you can see that uh, after every category it is uh, going to generate a subtotal for that particular category for all sales person which are associated with this category now we have property category you can see it is also showing the subtotal if i am going to just wait i am just going to yeah okay now in the last row you can see yeah this is the last row so i am going to show you in the last row you can see the grand total with sub total this is the overall total of this sales okay now we are going to use there is another option we can use it like as group by with roll up they no need to use uh, keyword with so i am going to use just pass the group by columns over here you can write your query like as is which is uh, easy to you so there are two syntax you can uh, see here now i am going to my third one that is roll up with partial roll up so in this case what i need to do i need the group by total like category then roll up on sales person as is if i am going to execute this query you can see that so here you can see there is a category and then sub total then category then sub total and here you can see grand total is missing out okay so guys you can see it is very easy to use a roll up close by you uh, along with the group by close in sql server if you want to generate the sub total of a particular column or a category or a hierarchical structure like yearly month uh, yearly quarter month these are the example where you can apply the roll up options and they uh, in this case it is provide a reporting structure to the business user which is very useful without using any reporting tool so guys please subscribe my youtube channel to learn more on sql server tricks on sql nt sql and we are coming with more videos on